welcoming Ann Lane with us now. Ann will be running for Centerville Town Council this October. Thanks for joining us, Ann. Thank you for having me, Hannah. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Ann Lane. I've lived in Centerville since 1980. I'm a lifelong resident of Queen Anne's County. Have been a homeowner in Centerville since 1991. Uh, my son and my parents all live in Centerville. And I've been a school bus driver since 2008. I've also worked with um, in developmental disabilities, both uh, with supported employment and in residential settings. So I've got an associate's degree from Chesapeake College and I'm five classes shy of a bachelor's de degree in organiz organizational dynamics from Wilmington University. I have served on the board of Daycare Incorporated a long time ago, I think 1996, and I was a member of Goodwill here briefly. I want to take this opportunity to commend the hard work that those members do. Um, was also very active in the Maryland State Education Association while I was an employee of the school system. Great, thanks. What made you run for town council? It's something I've wanted to do for, for a while and I have the time now. Oftentimes when we're raising our families um, and there's you know, work duties and responsibilities we don't have, have the time and I'm now in a position in my life that I have the time to devote to this. Mm -hmm. What are some of the major issues you see facing the council this year? Um, I think that reducing the debt is something that we need to focus on and certainly not accruing additional debt. I would like to see the uh, capital, um, the, the two, two projects that I would like to see is the completion of the water pipes and sewer pipes and um, getting the, the new truck and plow uh, for the town. Mm -hmm. So kind of some housekeeping, cleaning up of loose ends. So that is our next question. What are the main things that you hope to accomplish? And I guess that truck and plow would be one of the things. Yeah, those are on my mind. I want to say that I like Centerville being a small town and how fortunate we are to raise our families and enjoy our retirement small community and a safe community. So any decisions as far as growth, growth and development uh, will be made. I'll be very deliberate and very conscious of, of decisions regarding growth and development and um, look forward to proceeding with the assisted living site and the YMCA and affordable housing for folks of, of moderate means and fixed incomes. Mm -hmm. So those are some, some things on my mind, um, making sure that we continue to be in compliance, ADA compliance and accessibility to all residents of the town in regard to the parks, parking, mm -hmm. the businesses in the town. Um, Is there anything else that you might want to share with the voters? So community-based entertainment, recreation, I hope that when we're looking at those types of things, we're, we're looking at them with um, inclusiveness and a diverse uh, entertainment and recreation. We're not a one-size-fits-all community, so we all have different interests and um, want to adhere to the mission statement in the community plan, as I was doing some background on that. All right. Well, Ann, thanks very much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me.